Good morning. How are we guys? Hey, we're behind the eight ball. I had to call this guy in. Yeah, I need help trimming, blowing. Um, I'm way behind. I know he's behind. Um, we got the next three days should be decent. I know it's going to rain later today. Um, we're going to get footage for you. We'll talk later. Lots of mowing to do, man. So let's get to it. If you guys are wondering, I'm cutting this one at four and a quarter. Yeah, this grass is so thick and wet, it's crazy. But we're going to get this done, we'll be back. So there's what the V-Ride looks like after cutting that one. I'm telling you guys, this... If I waited another week, this stuff would be out of control. Had to be cut. Does it look pretty? Not really. I'm going to do my best blowing it off as I can. They're just, look, up here in Columbus, you have no choice. All yards look like this all year round. Other guys are out leaving mud tracks. You got no choice. You have to make a living. I mean, my bills aren't going to wait. As much as I don't want to cut today, my bills are not going to wait. I have to take advantage of the sun. And if it rains again, then we're done. So I'll see you in a minute, guys. Okay, question for you. What's up? Are the, are the yards wet as I said they were? Oh, they're terrible, man. <laughs> they're drenched. You can go swimming to some of these yards. I mean, you mowed that one, and you said it was underwater. Yes, it was, especially back there in that, that corner, man. It, oh. Yeah, and the last one we did had water just all over the middle of it. I and, see how wet it is. Look at all the grass that stuck to us. I mean, you can see, plus, look at the mower, guys. I mean, that's dry compared to what, that. that's what we're looking at. But, Doc, why don't you wash it off? Because it's going to look like this in a day. <laughs> what do you think, man? It's been a day today, man. I'll tell you what. Yeah, we're going to get these two done right here, guys. 
and then we're going to go to Westerville, knock out two of Dalen's, go to Gehanna, knock out two more of his, and that'll help him a little bit. So we will be right back with you guys. I'll try to get some footage here. I don't know if I can, but I'll try. We're about to turn it on. all right guys there they are this one cut at four inches that one cut at four and a quarter uh any lower it would have been an absolute mess don't you agree oh, absolutely Absolutely. A lot of trimming on that one, isn't there? Yeah. Well, so that one I'm losing because he married uh, a lady from another house I cut. <laughs> and so I'm getting one house but losing two, which really is not going to bother me <laughs> as many as I have. I blame you. So there it is, guys. We'll have to spray the weeds here soon or pull them. And uh, that's it. So on to Mr. Dalen's yards. And we're going to, can we record there? Absolutely. Awesome. Okay, we'll see you guys. This cat right here has been riding my mower all day long. <laughs> so we are on his last yard for the day. Did um, nine of mine and four of his. So 13, not bad. Um, rained on us several times. But uh, I do have something I want to talk to you guys about, and that is lawn care is a job of opportunity. And we will talk about that in a minute, but we're going to get some footage of him cutting this front yard. Okay guys, so we were just checking this out and this is what we got going on here. That you it slid on you, yeah, didn't it? it? Slid yeah. On there. I think we're going to call this cuz that is wet. It's getting ready to pour. In. And this right here is just nothing but water. Look at that. Oh man, dude. That I can tell this whole yeah, this corner's yeah. just going to be soaked. What do you think of this, man? Uh, try to get out and do something today, didn't I? Well, I will. Can't do nothing here. We got three done for him. Uh, I had a customer call me and say, "Man, my backyard looks horrible." I said, "Well, you know, you had me out one time when it was pouring rain. I figured I'd give it a shot because your front yard was just way too thick." And. Uh, I said, I hope, the, I hope the, the dirt tracks come out of it. And I said, I've been mowing for you for nine years, and they always do. So, anyway, that's, man, this stuff is just mud. It's awful. So, we'll be back, guys. Okay, guys, as soon as we got done, it started to rain. And hail. And hail. Yep, so, 
What's what's the forecast for in the morning? Uh, beep, 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 5 beep, beep, beep. a.m. and 6 a.m. snow. Can you at 35 degrees? Can you even fathom this? In April. At April. The, in April. Remember, April showers bring May flowers. I say <laughs> on that. So, lawn care is a job of opportunity. What do I mean by that? I mean when you have the time now this guy took advantage of it just two days ago or no yesterday yeah. got out yesterday cut some yards not too wet when when you have a when you have a business you have lawn care business i mean look we're all going to get behind they're calling for rain two days next week or three monday wednesday and thursday so there are yards I haven't even touched. I've got, <laughs> I've got, um, oh gosh, probably 31 yards I haven't touched. None of the big properties. Um, the only hope we have is that it does snow enough that it slows things down that people are off our back because this is about to get ugly. Yes, it is. And uh, what I'm telling you is, by opportunity, I mean when the weather clears, when you have that three-hour window, get out, do something. Just don't let it pass you by because you don't know when you're going to get the next opportunity. They called for rain basically on Monday all of today. We got away with getting some yards done. Yes, we did. Um, we're not getting rich off of it. I promise you that. <laughs> but uh, It's something, right? It like that last one if we would have done it within five minutes we would have been out we would have been hammered oh absolutely. Port, soaking wet hail coming down that's not the that's not how you want to do your yards but i had my customer today like i told you he was not complaining but he was not really upset he's just like i hope it pops back up it's going to we're going to get more weather the mud tracks are going to go away. I did not damage the grass at all, did I, no. when I turned? So, But, guys, lawn care is a job of opportunity, and you've got to take it when it's there, and you've got to make sure that you're willing to drop everything you're doing at 10 o'clock in the morning because the sun pops out and go get a job done, even if it's one job. You got to take that opportunity. Yeah, because come on, so you got to remember something, guys. As us being, you know, self-employed and owner operators, every day we don't work, we don't make any money. So I mean, if you can pop out and do something and make something, I mean, it's better than nothing. Now, unfortunately, you won't be able to make your full growth, but I mean, you get out and do something, you know, do something, right, Shane? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look, guys, there's not a check directly deposited into either one of our accounts at the end of the week. We don't get that. Um, Thank God he has his part-time job Correct. still. Correct, yes. So for us guys who are absolutely counting on this, it was imperative that I have his help today. There's no way I could have gotten done what I got done. I promise you. Because I didn't get to start until 8.30, okay? It just wasn't going to happen. So it's good to know people. It's But you know what? I wanted to help him too. So... We went ahead and took my mower and did some of his properties. Now, the, the, the one that we did before the last one, man, they had, it's like a hill, and it goes down, and it was soaking wet, That's like <laughs> like standing water. I could go swimming in it. it was yeah, water it was rough. <laughs> but, guys, hope you enjoyed it. As always, Dr. Real. And Daylin, we've both been in the house today. I'll let him have that one. I'll let him have that one. We miss him. So we'll see you guys. Peace.